Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this opportunity to come your way, to minister God's word and pray together. Today is the last day of our series on mentorship and we'll talk about the great relationship or mentorship that happened between Paul and Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 13. Even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. Paul and Timothy's story is one of the greatest examples of mentorship in the New Testament. Paul openly declares and says that he tried to eradicate Christianity. He killed many people. Have you thought that you needed to get your act together before you could mentor others? Have you felt you might need a mentor more than you could be one? Paul sets an example on mentoring by sharing his own struggles. Paul set an example by mentoring and sharing from his own struggles. He chose to share how God's grace was at work in his life despite his missteps. Paul understood how he messed up without Christ. Paul actually goes ahead and names his sins, which included blaspheming, persecution, violence, ignorance, and unbelief. How many of us would be willing to own up to the things in which we have offended God in? Paul was able to mentor young Timothy because, not because he was so good, but because of the work God had done in his life. Paul was an open book. He shared his sinfulness to help Timothy see the grace of God upon his life. So why does God use broken people? Just three points here. Broken people recognize their need for God. Broken people become trophies of God's grace. Broken people help other broken people. Mentors don't pretend to have everything together. It is not like we, everything that we desire, we receive or our lives are perfect. The blessings we share is how Christ revealed His goodness through our failures. Mentors share their story as God's faithfulness. We all have the opportunity to share how God's grace has been poured out in our lives abundantly. Will we be transparent enough to share how God is restoring our brokenness? So even as we bring this series to a close, let us be a church where we will mentor one another. We will also be willing to be mentored, keeping, our, keeping aside all our failures, and looking to Christ who will use us for His glory. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this entire week. We thank you for teaching us through your word, O oh God. We pray that, Lord, we will continue to walk in alignment to your word, in alignment to the things of God. Help us to disciple, mentor one another, and to build each other up, not for our own gain, not for recognition, not for fame, not for position, but Lord, to understand and know that we are doing this to build your kingdom, that you use broken vessels for your glory. We thank you for this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.